Hey y'all, uh, I'm back again. Uh, I did a whole a whole slew of research. I called up the Tomahawk Company, uh, asked questions, got some answers, got some wrong answers first, and then got some better answers. Uh, did some more looking, did some digging, did some calculating, did some measuring, uh, checked some wires that I already had, checked some other stuff. Uh, cause I've got that big bundle of wires in the backyard over here. Uh, probably seen it a few times in a couple of my videos. Uh, check those wires. Check the wires on my winch for the Jeep, uh, for cross-referencing. And got a good, uh, sense of what I needed. So I ordered, uh, 20 feet of both red and and black, so I've got 20 feet red, 20 feet black coming. Uh, and I also ordered a splicer, uh, some butt connectors, uh, marine grade, marine grade glued shrink tubing. It's not regular shrink tubing, this, this type of shrink tubing is marine grade, so it's extra thick and it is glue in there's a glue inside that melts and seals to the actual wire itself that way it, it'll ooze out the end and seal it from any kind of you know gunk and what i'm going to do is i'm going to splice the 10 foot leads to the 20 foot leads creating 30 foot leads for both the ground and the the positive for the you know earth and stinger side of the the unit uh and i'm going to butt connect them i'm going to put uh like a four inch uh connect uh seal over it then i'm going to do a six inch and then i'm going to do an eight inch that way it is three times as thick and it's sealed all the way you know several inches around each end because OSHA only allows a certain length and of a splice section and I want to be far above what they suggest they suggest one layer I'm gonna do three that way if I'm dragging it around and grunting it around <laughs> it's you know good to go uh, i also got uh, new ends uh, new connectors that connect to the machine i'm gonna i'm gonna see what size they are because i ordered what size that the company said it was uh so if that's not it then i'm gonna move to the size that i measured they are and see that way because uh, if, it, if it if it works the if it's the same size as what the company said because the instructions and, and the manuals and online stuff give a completely different answer than what the mechanics uh, say at the company so it's there but I wanted to do a quick show here uh, so all the way out there at the slab end all the way to here is 30 feet that's 30 feet that is a lot I mean we're talking from the end of the slab there all the way to this mark so we're <laughs> we're over half the we're at about you know half the distance up the property here so I can literally walk around this trailer I could put the the welder here and walk all the way around the trailer to that side to weld. I, I won't have to uh, do anything. So, I mean, that, that alone is going to save a bunch. Now, what I'm, what I'm looking into doing here is uh, getting a golf cart or a gator or one of those uh, hill and done uh, carts and building a small 
golf cart size welding rig. That way I can go between buildings and go, you know, into like apartment complexes and do like stairwells, uh, do like gates for gated communities. That way I don't need a big ass truck. I can, I can put it, the, the golf cart on this trailer, take it someplace and then park in a parking lot away from people, take the, the golf cart and drive that around and do welding and everything. And I won't be a bother. Cause I mean, hey, if I gotta weld, if I gotta weld something, you know, two stories up, I can do that because 30 feet is, I mean, that's, that's pretty good, good height. It's good enough for, you know, close work and if I have to do something where, you know, I need to take a the welder, you know, up an elevator and out a patio or something, I can do that. Uh, I mean, it's, it is pretty damn good. And because I have the smaller one, the smaller welder that works off of a, a 120 with a 20 uh, amp uh, breaker, I can take that inside anywhere. I also have the, uh, the, uh, 150 uh, wire feed that works off of a regular outlet as well so I have three welders that can work small jobs like that and one welder can even do the bigger jobs so there's all that but you know as it sits uh, you're talking 60 feet total uh, with, I mean, our, our property's 50 feet uh, from that corner all the way to that corner. So 50 feet, that's the low end. That's the low end of the welder capability because uh, cables, like number two cable, it is, you know, rated all the way up to 150 feet. Uh, now I don't I don't have 150 feet, but I can go up that high if if I really needed to and maybe next payday maybe uh, if these connections are the right connections next payday I'll get uh, two two 75 feet cables uh, one red and one black that way I have the 30 and a 75 that way you know I can jump between the two if I had to and I can mix and match so uh, it's it's uh, definitely a progress it's uh, it's you know I'm, I'm I'm learning with the rest of you guys but you know I've got the funds and capability of you know fucking up and you know burning you know 100 bucks 200 bucks and not really be hurt by it uh, some people out there they don't they don't have that ability so you know i'd rather be the one to take the hit than you guys uh, i mean if i'm saving you money then i'm happy because my my burn is is your pleasure so i'll talk to you guys later